In the last video, we learned that the Bible is wanting to tell us one big long story. It takes place over hundreds of years, it takes place over hundreds of pages. And as we can imagine, it begins in the beginning with God creating all things and all things being declared good. But as the Bible Project points out, quickly the story moves to describe something of the human condition how we as humanity have been given the ability to choose between good and evil, and how from the very beginning we have chosen so often to turn toward evil, which is something of why we see evil existing all around us. Now this doesn't mean that there isn't goodness within creation. Of course there is, right? Everywhere we look we also see the signs of goodness. But what the Bible is trying to help us understand is that within our humanness, there is, and I like this word, there is a marring. There is a fissure at work. Things are not as they should be. We are often turning toward evil, what the Bible calls sin. That's the word that it uses for it. This movement, this turning away from good and turning toward evil. And that too is a fundamental part of our human condition, that we are very good and have been created as good, and yet there is this existing within us, this marring. And from there then, the Bible sets out on what you might call a rescue mission or a, a story of redemption, a story of renewal, redeeming us out of that human condition that we find ourselves in. And the story, as the Bible Project teaches us, begins with the shaping of this people called Israel. And then from them and through them, there comes this one who is Jesus, this one who's come from God, this one who is God, and this one who intends ultimately to bring about the redemption and the renewal out of that human condition. Well, now we turn to today's teaching, and we're going to look once more at the same story, the story of the Bible as a whole. But this time, we're going to look at it from another angle, and the angle involves this thing called covenants. Covenants are something that we see throughout the Bible. Uh, the Bible Project is going to teach us that the word uh, it means something like partnership. Partnerships oftentimes happen, and covenants oftentimes happen between people. And a great example is, is a wedding. When you get married, you stand in front of someone else and you stand in front of witnesses and you declare that to this person you will be faithful through thickness and or through, through thick and through thin and through uh, good times and bad, through poverty and through riches, through sickness and in health. And you pledge your life to each other in that way. That is a covenant. It is a partnership. And what this is going to say, and the Bible Project is going to teach us this time, is that God, throughout the story of the Bible, enters into a number of different covenants with people, and these covenants are his way of beginning to bring about this redemption and renewal from our human condition. These partnerships, they are his avenue for restoring us and making things right and making things new today. Now, as you watch the video, once again, don't be overwhelmed. If these things are new to you, uh, that's okay. Watch and understand as much as you can. I believe in time you'll begin to pick up on the themes that you need to be able to pick up on. And as you watch this time, maybe have a couple of questions in mind. Uh, one question would be this. Have you ever thought about the idea of God wanting and desiring to enter into a partnership with humanity. That's an interesting way of understanding God. Have you ever thought that maybe he wants to enter into a partnership with you? And if so, what are the terms of that partnership? What does a partnership look like? And what's God desiring to partner with you in and for? And another question is this idea of partnerships and the partnerships that God does enter into. What do they reveal about his nature and who he is and his posture toward you as a person. And with that, let's watch the second video. <laughs> 